Okay, you got it? Yeah. For some strange reason, the neighbours don't pop round for cuppers, do they? Susie and Simon are obsessed with snakes, lizards and spiders. They run and live in a sanctuary in Dunstable, Bedfordshire that houses hundreds of species that would make most people's skin crawl. I think we're around 18 plus minus snakes, so it's quite a lot. We have several venomous snakes here at the moment, uh, including western diamondback rattlesnakes, we've got three of those. We've got two reticulated pythons in here. One's about 12, 14 feet and the other one's probably about 10 feet in length, so they're both quite big. If it manages to get round you and starts constricting you, the chances of you getting it off yourself are quite slim. Among their daily chores is the daunting process of cleaning out the many reptile tanks. Yep. All right, you can have it. Watch out. I don't want to grab it ahead of it. Nope, I have to. Oop. Okay, now I do. Okay, here we go. All right. You got it? Oh, gosh, that's a pain. That's it. That's it. Don't really go on up there. Oh, there we go. That's what can happen. Miss me. Ready? In you go. Defence mechanism is she feels threatened because we have to grab her. If we don't grab her head, she can turn around and bite you in the face. Then you're in real trouble. Because of that, she just emptied our whole bodily <laughs> system all over the place. One of the chores I've got to do now is actually give an injection to a NAR monitor. It's quite a powerful animal. It takes two of us to deal with it. He can whip you with his tail. He can bite you. And they basically found out that he had a bit of an infection somewhere inside him. So every day, you have to come in here and give this thing an injection, which <laughs> sounds easier than it is, but um, they're quite a handful. There he goes. Things off. Yeah. Got him? Oh, 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 don't let bite you. Yeah. Okay, you got him? Yeah. Wait a sec. Okay, hold on. Very slow, very thick stuff. This. Oh, that'll find Okay, wait, me there. Three quarters done. Okay, done. No, no, not that way. That way. Right. Done. Fun games. There you go. That's it. He likes leaning on it, doesn't he? If you get bitten by a venomous snake, um, your life is in danger. Um, most of the time people don't die from venomous snake bites, but you could end up in really big trouble, like say you might lose a hand, a finger, an arm. And they can be, uh, can be quite dangerous. If you have an aggressive 20 foot snake, it's not handleable on your own, not safely anyway. Feeding their many reptiles is a big job. Defrosting the frozen rats is the first step. So we're going to feed our resident rattlesnake here. Um, obviously you've got to be very careful, they do have venom, so you do not want to get venom in you, it's a hospital job. So she has injected venom into it, she doesn't need to constrict it. She's still feeling a bit cross with us, so I think uh, she's concentrating on us, not the food item right now. Though a rare occurrence, Snake bites are a painful reminder of the pitfalls of looking after venomous reptiles. Um, I have been bitten before. I was bitten by a copperhead actually twice. My arm swelled up the size of Arnold Schwarzenegger's, started to go black. The pain is like putting your hand or arm into boiling water or fire. Safety is a top priority for the pair. We've got protective gloves uh, which can withstand a snake bite. Every door is double locked and the cage is obviously locked as well. We do have neighbours here. There's six houses or so on the left side of the building and on the other side is a golf course. They know there's snakes here. But the couple has a serious message for visitors to the sanctuary, especially inexperienced would-be owners of exotic animals. We try to educate people about the snakes and why the snakes are here. You know, people see a nice cute little snake in a pet shop, something that might only be a few inches long, and potentially can get 18 plus feet. Having visitors here at the Secret Sanctuary as well, we're trying to sort of change people's attitudes, how they feel about snakes. People think they're horrible, slimy, disgusting. So hopefully by coming here, they see how amazing they are, how beautiful they are. And the couple's animal ambitions don't end with reptiles and spiders. I think if we were, we, there are no limits, no licensing, no worries about space, we'd end up having elephants and probably yeah. a giraffe's head coming through the window. I'd love to get a gorilla. It's not just snakes, we're into all reptiles rather. It's anything, you know. We'll always have animals around us, that's for sure.